Hello, Justin Mom here, and today I'm reviewing Lego Harry Potter's Forbidden Forest Umbridge Encounter, set number 75967. It has 253 pieces and it costs $50. Now, I might be late reviewing the set, but I've been waiting to review it for a while and I finally got it. Here's the set all built. Oh, by the way, this is a scene from The Order of the Phoenix. Let's start with the minifigures. Here's Harry Potter. Harry Potter has come to Hogwarts. He has black hair <laughs> and a confident smile. He has, of course, his scar <laughs> with his glasses. And in the back, he looks angry. His torso is a gray hoodie with a brownish sweater under and in the back it's gray. His legs are blue and he has a brown wand. This is Hermione Granger. I love how her hair looks. That brown color in the back, so nice. She has this really confident smile. And in the back, she looks really angry. She has this multicolored sweater that's light gray. And in the back, it's the same. She has black pants and a tan wand. Light tan wand. Here is Professor Umbridge. She has short brown hair. She's got this really scared face in the front. And in the back, she looks happy. Of course, when she's up to her meanness, she's happy. She has this brown wand. And she has this pink torso that has a gold cat pin and a pink bow. And then in the back, it's pink. She has a pink skirt with pink shoes. In the back, pink. Mm -hmm. Here is the centaur. There's two of them, which is pretty cool. He has this really cool, long black hair. Yeah. And he's holding a bow and arrow. He has a really angry face, and you can see the other one. He looks like he's just upset. <laughs> he has a um, olive torso with a quiver in the back. Yeah. And he has a quiver on the side, which can be removed. Yeah, pretty easy. And as you can see, his legs, centaur legs, and his torso can be removed. See that? Pretty awesome. So you can do some other faces on here. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be funny. <laughs> ah, you should not tell lies. Look at that. Hilarious. Here is Guap. He's a posable giant, and I think his face looks fantastic. <laughs> it looks really good. I really like how they did his hair, which is brick built. Very cool. But his face is printed, just so you know, it's a printed piece. You see the back, his hair, fantastic. Going back to that, and then the little ears. He has this really cool torso that's stickered these three pieces here are stickered. He's got a belly button, which is funny. Oh my gosh, hysterical. I really like the way his legs came out too. And they move, which is pretty fantastic. And these are sticker pieces. And of course that would happen. <laughs> but these are sticker pieces down here. And I think it looks pretty good. I don't really like the way the back looks. I mean, it's so empty, but it's still not bad. You can improve it. And then, of course, his arms move. Look how cool is that? 
I love how that looks. See these little ball joints right here? So basically you can move it around. Hey, I'm here. <laughs> and they both do. So, and also he can hold Professor Umbridge. I shall not tell lies. See how he holds her? He's shaking her up and down. <laughs> I think that's fantastic. I love it. <laughs> So cool. Let's see if I can pose him because I'm not sure. I haven't tried that, but let's see. He's still holding on to Professor Umbridge. He's doing a split. Yes. He can sit, which is pretty cool. See that? He's sitting. <laughs> and his head does turn around. This is a forbidden forest tree, which looks fantastic. It's small, but I love it. I really like the tree branches and this little spider that's hanging back here which i will show you right now look how cool they did that it's just hanging by this little paddle in the back the paddle really cute idea but these bright green branches and the this olive uh leaf right here i love the red um, mushrooms which have has been attached by these little green um hot dog which is pretty cool. See that? <laughs> That's pretty ingenious there. I love it. I love the brown pieces here and then the dark pieces here for the tree. And they have these little leaves right here and this olive and light tan uh, base plate right here. Pretty nice. And then there's a hidden surprise. And here it is. So cool. You can see there's a turkey leg in here. The only thing is you need little fingers <laughs> and a lantern. Let's see if I can take this out at least some of it. There you go. And there's a turkey leg, a bone, which not easy to grab. There you go. <laughs> and on this side, there's a bicycle handlebar. See there? And a bell, which is cute and you know, supposed to look like a bell. But you can put other stuff in there which I really like. It fits all kinds of stuff in here. I don't think a minifigure, but other stuff can fit in there. But I love this. I mean, you can have it open or just close it and no one know. That is so cute. I really love this set because it takes you back to the scene of the film, which I love when they do that. Now, you know the tree isn't. <laughs> but leave your thoughts in the comments below. Leave a like if you enjoyed my video. Bye!